Hello everyone, I am the Moy Chicken and welcome back to more Super, I, I forgot what I was going to call it, Dinosaur Land, Super Mario World, Return to Dinosaur Land. In the last episode we were about to go down this pipe. <laughs> we just finished off the Wiggler Wood. Wait, what? Uh, hang on. We went down, went down a pipe, going down, and we wound up on the lower side of a place that has its own moon. This is a very strange land, this frozen valley. So yeah, in the last episode we finished off Wiggler Woods and defeated Ludwig von Koopa, and now we are into the frozen valley, which is fun. I remember th I remember the first time I played this thinking the idea of like a a frozen valley, like a, a, a basically a, an ice world was cool because there were a lot of uh, ice sta- oh, oh, okay, there we go. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, blue shell. Um, I guess I'll go back down. Yay, I did it. Um, there were a lot of uh, ice areas, I guess you could say, like areas that had ice effects, and they were almost always underground. Um, but there wasn't really like an ice world. And I don't know, I think it's kind of cool to have an ice world. Get this extra life, and it'll be a good time. Uh, oh, oh, this is happening. Um, I when I was a kid, I didn't know how these worked. Like, I didn't realize I was controlling it. I just thought they kind of went wherever on their own, and so I didn't really know what to do with them. And I, I also think that they have just a specific number that they put out. Like, it, for, if you don't know, basically the idea is that you control it, and if it bumps into anything at any point, it just stops. What does this have to say? Hello. The pipe below is accessible only if the blue blocks have appeared. If you haven't found the blue switch yet, look for it in Wiggler Woods. That's kind of cool. Let's go down here, since we have, in fact, found the blue blocks. Um, what is this? A special object? Nope, it's just a fun time. We Okay. Um, I guess it's just to let you do that. I actually thought it was... Oh, jeez! Uh, okay. We're safe. It's alright. <laughs> it's alright, Yoshi. It's alright. Good boy. Good boy. Um, actually, so here's a question. Growing up, I always thought of Yoshi as a boy. Maybe that's not fair. Maybe that's assuming is assuming it's gender. That's not fair. But I always thought of him as a boy. I still sort of think of him as a boy. He definitely lays eggs, though. <laughs> um, definitely lays eggs. Uh, so maybe Yoshi was supposed to be a girl all this time. I don't know. I honestly don't. Um, I know that like I I I brought that point up with a good friend of mine. Uh, the other day, I was like, "What what gender do you think Yoshi is?" He's like, "Well, I always thought it was, I always thought Yoshi was a girl because she lays eggs." I was like, "Huh? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> she sure does lay eggs. So either Yoshi's just lay eggs, regardless of their gender. They might be asexual and they can just all reproduce with eggs, or Yoshi has been a girl all along. Who knows?" Frozen Valley 2, moving on. So, in this ep in this in this level we will jump out here, I guess. I don't know. I like the Frozen Valley. Um it has the uh you can see back there it ha whoa, oh jeez. It has the, the 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 you know what you know what I could use in this level? A cape. <laughs> um it has the Chaco Island background, which I remember I always th really liked. I think it looks cool. Also, apparently it's full of moguls. I'm not really happy about this terrain very much. You can probably hear my controller clicking because of all the uh, rapid movements I'm having to do here. Um, I don't really need any of this, honestly. What's... Well, I'll just... Man, <laughs> just, just do that. A lot of Koopas down here. A lot of, like, I feel like all I've encountered down here so far are Koopa Troopas. Okay, I want that. This looks like a this looks like a hidden thing. So do this. Break, break, break. Yep, okay, there's a secret here. So now how can I get this? With a Koopa. Okay, uh green I need a green one. I need a green Cooper. Green Cooper. Green I think I killed them all. That is one thing that's a little unfortunate about Yoshi. So if you didn't know, again, um if you do the spin jump and hit something, 
like a Koopa, Koopa for example, they won't come back. They're gone forever. Um, if you just jump on them, they will actually respawn when you go, when you come back onto the screen. But if you jump on them with Yoshi, it's like you spun jump on them. They're gone forever as well. So, <laughs> this is interesting. Okay. Thank you. I, I guess I'll just keep going on the sky bridge. Yay. This is probably useful for me for something. I kind of lost my Yoshi. Uh, maybe down here? I don't know where I'm going. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I feel like... Oh, jeez! Uh, there's a secret here somewhere. Also, these blue pipes are really cool. They look like they are frozen, frozen pipes. Also, I think I just hit the midpoint twice. Hey, Yoshi. What's up, buddy? Yosh! Join me, my friend. So, yeah, because I did that, that Koopa will never respawn. So, I kind of screwed myself over when I jumped on those green Koopas earlier, but no problem. I sorted it out. That's the kind of gameplay you can expect here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh Yoshi. Don't. D Yoshi, you just ate it. <laughs> Yoshi. <laughs> dang it. Oh, dang it. Oh, I shouldn't have brought Yosh. Too much Yosh. All right, well, I'll eat you. I'll have to come back, because I'm sure that there was going to be a secret something. All right, Yoshi, for your crimes, you will have to stay down here. Live in the frozen valley for the rest of your life. Goodbye. All right, up here. What do we got? More coops. More coops. Coops. Ah! koop doop Hey! It's a vol- It's a jumping- Jumping volcano plant. Um, what's this? What are you? You're a fire flower. I don't need you, in fact. Uh, uh, okay. It's a fuzzy. These guys are so weird, man. Always love those guys. They remind me of, um, of Bluto from uh, Popeye. So that's what the, that's what their crazy little faces remind me of. They're like little spider versions of Bluto. Alright, this this is an unfortunate scenario. Uh, I gotta get out of here because I'm running out of time. Uh, oh, oh geez. Okay. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Hop, hop, hop. I want that. Hop, hop. Okay. What was I supposed to do with the pee? What was I supposed to do with the pee? I don't know. Was this a, was this a red level? Hang on. Was a red level? No, it wasn't. Okay, there's no special. What was the P for? I don't know. Maybe there was something hidden there. I don't know. That's funny. We don't have to go back, though. That's kind of nice. Oh, hey, look. Ice bushes. Neat. <laughs> uh, no. I will not trust that. I will first try to... No, not that. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Fly! It didn't work. Okay, now I will trust it. <laughs> Anytime the screen scrolls like that, I'm usually very suspicious. Because you that like that's one of the fun things about like older games is that oftentimes you can find secrets by just determining if the screen will scroll. Because usually they would not put in screen scrolling unless they had something for you to do. What's down here? Let's jump into ice water. That's safe, right? Mario's okay. He doesn't have to breathe and he doesn't have to worry about temperature either. <laughs> at least not at this point in, in, in his life. Later on, once he once he got a few more bits, he had to start worrying about uh, breathing and temperature. But at this point, nope. Life was simple. What's down here? Uh, hit you. Hmm. It's shaping up to look like coming down here is what happens if you fall. And it's not the intended path. I will get this, and we will blow up that jeep jeep. Destroy the cheeps, die cheeps, and hmm. Well, I know that there's not a special exit to this this level because it's a yellow level, but now I'm all kinds of curious. What was on that top path? Hmm. What was on the top path? I want to know. I want to. Oh, we're gonna go back and find out. <laughs> My curiosity must be sated. Follow me. Me? <laughs> no, I'm saying that too. Whatever. Swimming. Swimming. Also, look at Mario's, like, the curve of his belly. Why does he look like that? <laughs> he just sort of, like, he looks like a fish or something. It's very strange. His back half. 
Uh, oh no, can I knock it out? No! Oh, my curiosity will not be sated. Oh, how unfortunate. Oh, it's a travesty. Uh, I guess we'll just have to wonder. Uh, what could it be, though? I mean, there's, like, more land up there. I don't know. Whatever. C'est la vie. We will never know. But, anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? I don't know. I forget these things. I can never remember what I was talking about. That's my life. Um, I do like this game, though. I've said that a lot, but it's still true. Like, I'm playing this game, and it just sort of feels like I'm playing Super Mario World, but a little different, you know? It, like, I, I, I've watched people play uh, Super Mario World randomizers, and I don't really get as much fun out of those because, while it is sort of fun to see, like, the same levels with different takes, it still feels like the same levels. Like, I don't feel like there's anything that's really different. It's just out of order. Or with, like, minor changes to the circumstances. Um, so, so the game becomes more about spotting the differences than anything new. But this, this is so, like, fresh and interesting and new, and what am I, why am I, like, making a weird, like, puff of smoke? What is that? Is that a thing that happens? Mario makes a puff of smoke and he picks up things? I don't remember that happening. Whatever. Um, yeah, it just sort of feels good. And, I mean, you would think, based on what I'm saying, that I would love Super Mario Maker. But, unfortunately for me, Super Mario Maker actually left me with... This is... I want it. What is it? It's an extra life. Okay, that's fine. Um, Super Mario Maker kind of left me with the same bad impression because the first... Oh, jeez. The first uh, experience I had with Super Mario Maker was this. Silver piece switches turn munchers into coins and enemy... Turns mu munchers into coins and some enemies into silver coins. If you collect seven silver coins, you'll get a one-up. The spacing is really difficult to read on that. Um, okay. Uh, 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 I feel like there's probably a right place to you. Oh my goodness. I died. I died. Is that the first time I've died? No, I, that, there was that time where I stupidly jumped in the hole. I was going to say, is that the first time I've died? But no, it's the second. Um, what was I saying? Yes. Um... That's the third time I've died. <laughs> Will I... Can I go for three in this level? For three! Um, yeah, uh, like, unfortunately, one of my first experiences with Super Mario Maker was um, watching the Game Grumps play some of uh, Ross's levels. And Ross's levels are terrible. <laughs> They're super, like, frustrating and angering. <laughs> Because he just wanted to make his levels like that. And it's super fun for him. And so I got it in my head that, oh, this entire this entire game is just a troll game. It's not worth playing. And as a result, like, I never played Mario Maker. Which is a shame. Because there's a lot of good stuff in Mario Maker. Um, unfortunately, I just never tried it. So I'm actually kind of really excited about Mario Maker 2 because I feel like, like, I feel like if I, if I started trying to play Mario Maker 1 at this point, I'd just sort of be, you know, at the tag end of it. And uh, I, I don't, I, I feel like it makes more sense for me to do like, have, have like a fresh start. Hmm. What's down though? <laughs> My curiosity must be sated. Uh, there's just... There's a secret exit, probably, or a secret something down there. I bet you, I bet you there is. I bet you there is. Okay, so, we know what we must do, but first we must exit the level. We will come back, because our curiosity must be sated. It's very important. Also, this love, this episode's going on for a long time, so I will just sate the curiosity, and we'll cut back to that. So, see y'all in a bit. <laughs> I must know the secrets. It's very important. I love playing this game. I'm having such a blast just playing this game. It's so much fun. <laughs> like, it's such a good game. Curiosity sating number one! Behold! You just kind of go through here, and there's a dragon coin. Yay. Alright, welcome back everyone. Curiosity sating time. Like, fudge! Oh, I did it wrong! Oh, I did it wrong! Uh, it's, it's extra lives. Yay! See y'all next time.